that the coronavirus patent was applied for in 2015. And this is uh, something that's behind a lot of the misinformation and the misunderstanding that's going around about this, which is when this broke, when the outbreak started, it was just called coronavirus. And a lot of people don't understand that coronavirus isn't the name of this virus. It's the name of a wide family of viruses. So yes, there was a patent applied for in 2015. It was for a different coronavirus and it was to do with research into vaccines. Um, So yeah, and this is behind an awful lot of the misunderstandings is this idea that if there is a reference to coronavirus that predates 2019 or 2020, then that means that people knew about it in advance. No, we've known about coronaviruses since the 60s. We've got more of that to come. Let's turn to the idea that scientists believe that coronavirus may have come from bats in a Chinese research facility. Yeah, and the key thing here is that this was there was a paper that was published by two Chinese scientists that raised this as a possibility. There is a research facility in Wuhan that does study bats, and it is believed that bats may be the original source of uh, of this particular strain of coronavirus, although they probably passed through a different animal in order to infect humans. But the paper only laid this out as a possibility. It didn't present any evidence for it actually being the case. And it's still not believed that that is, in fact, the most plausible explanation. Something else you hear is that Wuhan is where 5G technology was first rolled out. Yes, and it wasn't where it was first rolled out. It was one of the earliest cities in China to get uh, 5G technology pilots. But the key thing about this is that there are a huge number of conspiracy theories about 5G technology and that they will, by and large, pin the blame on any illness on 5G. Uh, There is absolutely no scientific link between 5G and coronavirus. Coronaviruses, again, have been known about for decades. There is nothing about this coronavirus that is especially unusual in terms of coronaviruses. It is just another coronavirus, albeit one that is infecting a lot of people and that has, you know, uh, you know has, its behaviour is slightly different, but not radically different. And so there's no scientific reason whatsoever to connect 5G with coronavirus because they're not linked. What about when people say, if you have a runny nose and sputum, you have a common cold, not COVID-19? And this came from a hugely viral Facebook post. It had over almost 400,000 shares on Facebook last time I looked. Um, And it is true that um, runny nose is a less common symptom of COVID-19 than it is, for example, the common cold. But it is not, doesn't, it does not rule out that you have COVID-19. Some people who have COVID-19 have had a runny nose as a symptom. And in terms of sputum, which basically means coughing up phlegm, there's actually the, um, the studies show that about a third of patients have that. So Again, this is taking something that has a seed of truth, that these are perhaps less common symptoms than they may be for other respiratory ailments, but trying to say that if you have that, you don't have COVID-19 is wrong and might be dangerous because people may think, I haven't got it, when they do. Something else doing the rounds, children can't get the new coronavirus. And again, that's based, there's a seed of truth in there, but it's not actually accurate. It is true that so far children seem to be less affected by it. Uh, Their symptoms are generally a bit milder. However, it's not true that they can't get it. In China, there have been hundreds of children who have been hospitalised with it. And crucially, the really important thing to realise is even if their symptoms are milder, they can still be infected and they can still pass on the infection. So the idea that children are somehow safe from this is is not true. Something else you hear, Dettol antiseptic spray says it kills coronavirus. Again, this is the example of any use of the word coronavirus coronavirus Versus before the COVID-19. outbreak. Exactly. So yes, Dettol bottles do say on it that they are effective against human coronavirus. That's because they were effective against a human coronavirus. Um, that doesn't mean it necessarily kills this. It probably does. But this is a new virus. This is the key thing. Hmm. This is a new virus. We have only limited information about it. It is likely that common disinfectants can kill it because common disinfectants kill most coronaviruses. However, it's too early to say for sure about that. But the fact that it's on a Dettol bottle doesn't mean that Dettol were tipped off in advance. Is it the same answer to the other thing? Jacob Rothschild owns a patent to coronavirus. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is the same patent, actually, as was being talked about in the previous one, I believe. Um, uh, 
Uh, yes, there was a patent. Uh, there is nothing whatsoever to suggest that Jacob Rothschild has anything to do with it. That's just a very common anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Um, and again, the fact that there was a patent on a coronavirus before this is not a reason to suspect that there's a conspiracy, because there isn't. And finally, because there's a long list here, there's one I want to pick out. Scientists knew about the new coronavirus long ago and called it Disease X. And um, this is wrong. This is a. There was a World Health Organization um, event and uh, sort of conference in, uh, and, and a paper that they wrote in 2018, in which they listed disease X as being one of the threats facing the world. That wasn't coronavirus. That was just the fact that they knew that a new disease could emerge, that might cause this problem. Which is the key thing. Scientists have known for a long time that something like this, mm. something like this, was very likely to happen. They just didn't know what it would be. Would it be a coronavirus? Would it be another form of influenza? What would it be? And that's why they called it Disease X. It was just a placeholder.